Hi, welcome to the snag. Uh, we're going to go through a few bait ups. I'm going to be using some Riot Bait Squid, which I buy from uh, Speed Bait in Minehead, Mikey Weather. We'll also be doing some herring bait ups. Again, all the baits from Mikey Weather. Riot Baits, Bluey. We'll do some mackerel bait ups and some sand eel ones as well. We will do worm as well, but I need to go and dig those first. So, these sand eel, I might add, uh, some of the best sand eels I've ever had. They don't split or anything else, and uh, the guy who vacuum packs them and freezes them is absolutely fanatical about them, about how it's done. You can see how perfectly straight they are as well. So they're absolutely fantastic, brilliant. Okay, so let's get on with the first bait up. Alright, so a nice basic one to start with. And simply chop off a tail, prevents any spinning, plus it also gets the scent out there quicker. Move that to one side, and then just by the gills. Straight through, nice and easy. Get your hook, put it in the bloody end, and just thread it up. A little bit more awkward with this one because it's a Viking hook, it's got a slight pinch at the bottom, but still. On he goes. Helps if you can grip. So, so you've got a nice clear hooking point at the bottom. You can either stick it out like that with just whipping a little bit of elastic on just to hold it around the shank of the hook up here. Or if you're using a panel rig, bring down your panel hook on to bring it down and then just in and out your bait. Pull the line tight. And there we have a perfectly good sand eel bait. Okay, so let's just take that one off. Get rid of that. Okay. So, another good thing to do with sand eels is you can double them up. So, just take both their tails off again, just behind the head. Lots of people leave the head on sometimes, which is fine, but I like to get the water flushing through the bait. And again, you can just whip these up, so you get some bait cotton. This is the Tronics Pro one, which is really good. It's a latex. And you can just thread that on your hook, or as I do, especially off a boat, get a third one. Also, use this when I'm not having to cast too far as well because it doesn't fly too well, obviously. Although, that double is a good streamlined bait, nothing wrong with that at all. When on the boat, make it a triple. Lots of scent out there, really good for bass, had cod on it as well. Actual fact, last year when I was out with somebody, one of the charters locally, the only cod caught that day was on a triple sand eel like I'm doing now. So just whip that up. Don't worry about using a fair bit of elastic, it doesn't bother the fish. Okay, so there we have a perfect little triangle. Okay. And again, with your hooks, put the sharp knife out of the way. Okay, so simple in and out, just pull it through a little bit. 
And then what I tend to do is just whip that hook shank on just over the knot a little bit as well, just give it a bit of grip. Okay. Like so. So you can either stick it out single with a hook like so, or again, you can get your panel hook. fingers preferably. Pull the line tight and again that's another good bait. Plenty of scent, plenty of stink, gets it out there well. As you can see the blood coming out of that is already quite good. These are only uh, semi defrosted. So yeah there we go. A couple of good uh, ways to mount a sand eel. Okay so you're in sand eel without taking both ends off. Simple, just chop off the tail and leave him with his uh, head on. Some people like to open the mouth, I don't know if you can see that, and then put your hook through and come out through the side. It's great if you're lowering it over a boat because it's nice and simple. What I tend to do if from the shore is go in through the gill plate Oh, it's a little bit slippery. Anyway, going through the gill plate, thread him on, like so. Could be a bit finicky at times, this can. Okay, so, there we go. And then literally, just put a little bit of bait elastic around the head. Or if you're not casting far, you can leave it as is. And you've got perfectly good bait there with a good clear hooking point. Uh, there we go. 